So hello, my name is Lynette Parsons and I'm the Head of Safeguarding and Designated Safeguarding Nurse at Coventry and Warwickshire Clinical Commissioning Group. This presentation aims to support professionals who might need to manage a local, regional or national safeguarding incident and raise a health safeguarding alert. To assist you in understanding the process, a flowchart has been agreed, which will I walk you through. First part of the process occurs in children's services. Children's services case discussion. The social worker identifies the potential need to raise a health or hospital safeguarding alert. The social worker will need to schedule a case discussion with their team manager and the operational lead and agree the alert details and where the alert needs to be raised so that it can be targeted and proportionate and notify only relevant health providers and hospitals that are required. All decisions and actions need to be clearly recorded on protocol and a need to know completed and sent to the children's services leadership team. The child protection information alert system. So the social worker raises child protection information system, that CPIS alert for a child and or the mother via the email address lcshelp at coventry.gov.uk. The second part of the process is conducted in partnership with Children's Services and the Head of Safeguarding designated nurse at the Clinical Commissioning Group. This part is the liaison with that Head of Safeguarding designated nurse. So the social worker will contact the designated nurse for safeguarding to arrange a virtual case discussion via cwccg.safeguarding at nhs.net. The case discussion with the head of safeguarding designated nurse and completion of the health form is incredibly important. The purpose of the case discussion with the clinicians involved should clearly identify what action may have already been taken by children's services, as well as any and all services likely to come in contact with the subject. This may include primary care, so do they have a GP or a pharmacist that they um, contact regularly? Have they had any contact with the ambulance services? What are their places of education saying? And do they have any police reports as the victim or possible perpetrator? Additionally, considerations need to be from wider services than community assets. Do they use food banks? Are there any specific um, eateries? Or do they have any club or faith venues that they visit? It's always better to have the case discussion and decision making on the safeguarding referral with several professionals involved, especially with those from the MASH. In the case of an unborn child, the designated professional should ensure that the local authority partners have put the child protection information sharing system and put that alert on. The local multi-agency network, including the GP and any healthcare providers with an active care plan, should decide what, if any, further actions will be necessary and what role health need to undertake with those agreed actions. So following the case discussion, the social worker will complete the health alert form, which you can see on the right hand side of your screen, and return it to the email address cwccg.safeguarding at nhs.net to raise the alert. And that will be actioned by the head of safeguarding and with the agreed hospital and health providers identified. When the child or adult is found, or the issues have resolved, or the parent gives birth, the social worker will liaise and withdraw the alert via the same email address. Please do use the flowchart to assist you in the process. Thank you for listening.